In this GlowShift Gauges installation video, we'll be showing you how to install a GlowShift 7 Color Series Nitrous Gauge into your vehicle. When you're ready, grab your tools and we'll meet you in the garage. For the purpose of this install, we'll be using a 2017 Mustang GT to install our gauge. For safety, disconnect the negative battery terminal before starting any work on the vehicle. If you would like the gauge to display the pressure in the entire system only when the bottle is open, you'll need to install the pressure sensor using the AN fitting adapters to the feed line. It's important to ensure that the bottle is closed before installing the sensor and the system has been fully purged. Once the system has been purged, remove the port plug from the AN fitting and install the pressure sensor. Tighten it using a 22 millimeter wrench. Attach the sensor wire harness and run the opposite end through the vehicle to the gauge location. Depending on your nitrous bottle location and where you will be mounting your gauge, you may need an extended sensor harness wire which can be purchased through our website. Installing the pressure sensor directly to the gauge port on the bottle, your nitrous gauge will read the constant pressure of the bottle whether the valve is open or not. If your nitrous bottle is completely empty and you wish to install the sensor directly to the bottle gauge port, remove the feed line from the bottle and open the valve to ensure there is no pressure in the bottle. Then remove the port plug and install the pressure sensor. Tighten it using a 22 millimeter wrench. Insert the sensor harness wire and run the opposite end through the vehicle to the gauge location. Close the valve and reattach the feed line. Remove any panels necessary for running the harness wire to the gauge mounting location. Feed the connector through the pod. For this installation, we'll be powering the gauges using the vehicle's fuse box, which is located on the passenger side footwell. Depending on how you power your gauges, you may need to extend the wires on the power harness. Feed the power harness wires through the pod and run the other end to the fuse box location. Reinstall any panels that were removed. In order to test for power, the negative battery terminal will need to be reconnected. Remove any panels covering the fuse box. For this installation, we'll be powering the gauges using expandable circuits, which can be purchased through our website. 
Using a test light, locate a fuse that receives constant 12 volt power. Then locate a fuse that receives 12 volt power when the ignition is turned on. Lastly, locate a fuse that receives power when the headlights are turned on. Attach the first expandable circuit to the red wire from the gauge. Remove the 12 volt ignition fuse, place it into the circuit, and place the circuit into the fuse's location in the fuse box. Attach the second expandable circuit to the yellow wire from the gauge. Remove the constant 12 volt fuse, place it into the circuit, and place the circuit into the fuse's location in the fuse box. Attach the third expandable circuit to the orange wire from the gauge. Remove the 12 volt headlight fuse, place it into the circuit, and place the circuit into the fuse's location in the fuse box. Attach a ring terminal to the black wire from the gauge and connect it to a clean, reliable grounding source under the dash. Reinstall any panels that were removed. Plug the sensor harness wire and the power harness wire into the gauge and place the gauge into the pod. Power your gauge to ensure that everything is working properly by starting the vehicle. You've now successfully installed your GlowShift 7 Color Series Nitrous Gauge into your vehicle. If you have any questions, concerns, or comments, please contact us at 1-888-GS-GAGE and we'll see you on the road.